What's going on guys, it's Shane. We are back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to Upstate New York owned by Midwest Bus Company to check out their most recent update. Uh, this update was a long-awaited update. It's the one featuring the newest buses. Um, I know people have been wanting new buses for the longest time. Um, and we're going to get into that. I'm going to kind of explain on how this all came about and stuff. So... Um, so first things first, some of the things they've added are obviously the new buses, the 2024. There's a 2024 CE, T3FE, uh, Bluebird Vision, and HDX. So all the premium buses kind of got an update. Um, speaking of premium buses, you can now drive the old premium buses, such as the 2021s and the 2022s. So those are accessible to everyone. Uh, however, you can't spawn them in right now because i think uh people still have them and they're trying to get everything transferred over to their new buses so um there's that uh they added a mile system actually uh i think it's supposed to work now i'm not 100 sure um how that's gonna work uh it, it might actually they might have fixed it i'm the one that introduced introduced that but it, it had like flaws and stuff so uh, apparently it got fixed they expanded the bus lot here a uh, huge expansion uh, everything to the left of me is new, so there's that, and then uh, a bunch of uh, like fixes. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and spawn in my 2024. It's a uh, Bluebird Vision, and some of the new features that they have while this bus loads in. I do apologize. Okay, um, so all the new ones should have storage compartments that actually open up. Um, is pretty cool they should have chrome rims as well uh, as well as the new tires a lot of people have been wanting these tires specifically um all the windows should now open instead of a select few do you believe yep they all open i know some people have been wanting that as well um and then the dash let's close these real quick the dash is pretty much the same and i'm going to get into why it's the same in a second uh, let's go ahead and take this down over here really quickly. So these buses are still going to have bugs. You know, it's, it's Gen X. It's bound to happen. So um, the gauges work. Uh, before, this was only like an ownership bus thing, you know, where all the stuff would work. Now all the stuff actually works. The shifter, the parking brake, the gauges, uh, the radio, and the Bluebird Vision is now over here. And yeah. So, and if I didn't already mention, it is gasoline, so it's got a new sound to it. I don't know if they're all gasoline. I know the vision is, though. So, yeah. Uh, there are still bugs, like I said. Uh, that right indicator isn't working currently. Uh, it's also got this new sign up here, which is... Uh, it's bugging because the way it was made was very stupid. I actually took a look at it. I don't know... I actually don't even know where we got this. I'm going to be quite honest with you. I don't know how we obtained that sign. So, yeah. Um, speaking of, the reason why I don't know much is because I didn't really take any part in editing some of these buses. I edited the... Well, no, that's I'm wrong. Sorry. I gave all the buses the working features, such as the shifter, park and brake, the uh, speedometer and stuff like that, along with the sounds... Uh, I did look those up and get some new sounds um, on the CE, I believe. Um, however, all the like other features, such as the storage compartments, were uh, somebody I hired to do, such as Dino. I think Dino was the only one that was really working on them. Um, so yeah, a lot of credit goes out to Dino, and uh, I don't want to pat myself on the back here, but I, I did introduce this whole thing. Um, we were actually for the longest time trying to, so for those of you who don't know, Envision was a thing, uh, started by Mike and Rev. Uh, it was supposed to, when it, when it was completed, we were going to get some buses from them. Uh, however, they actually shut down. So these buses here that you're seeing me drive were never supposed to be permanent. They weren't supposed to be permanent, um, 2024 buses, you know. Uh, I actually hired Dino before I even found out we were going to use Envision buses, so I was kind of confused there. It's kind of why I've 
backed off of everything because I was like, um, I don't want to have him work on this when we're not even going to use them, but we will be using these now. Um, and if you didn't tell, there's also suspension. I know that's something people have been wanting, uh, suspension. <clears throat> I don't know if it's a little too much or not. For me, it's a little too much. It, that's just my personal preference. I could go in and tweak it, but, um, like I said, I'm kind of hands off right now. Just trying to focus on IRL stuff, you know. Got a lot going on. My car's starting to break down again. It's a... Ah, I hate it. I hate it, dude. And I went to Firestone, asked them if they could fix it up. They don't service the part anymore, so I got to either fix it myself or I'm going to have to go to the dealer, which going to the dealer is going to be the most expensive route, and I really don't want to do that. Um, and it's, it's a simple part to fix. I should be able to fix it myself, but I've never really worked on a car before, so I don't want to kind of rely off YouTube videos and that's kind of all I got to go off of but I don't know yeah. the Vinny map is also back I don't know if that was also in this update or the one before but it is back uh it's okay it's it's not it's nothing special it obviously there's flaws to it you can see at the corners of the thing the UI is a bit messed up but um it doesn't display anything it doesn't really show where other players are I don't think it might I don't know I haven't had any other people to join to uh to test that so um there's also supposed to be a new player list that I actually worked on that's supposed to be uh, I'm still working on it actually it's not in the game just yet it will be very soon and when I mean very soon I mean like probably in a few days maybe even less But uh, my favorite part about this whole thing here is specifically with the vision is the chrome rims and the uh, the storage compartments along with the suspension. Those like those three things were pretty much needed, honestly. Um, I don't know. I kind of wish I did some stuff myself. Like with this whole customization system, it, the way it was built, it's kind of difficult for me to comprehend, you know. I would start helping out adding more things, but the way it was kind of scripted, it, it's, it's, it's all over the place uh, and I don't know how to like kind of operate it. So if I did build it myself, I would kind of start adding more things to it. But um, see, like I would have made Chrome rims an option, but I don't know how to do that with this customization system. You know what I mean? Um, which is going to be a feature in my game for my customization system, which is a lot more simplified. Um, the reason this customization system was so like crazy is because of the spawner. And speaking of, we did have, uh, apparently this whole spawn system is supposed to be new. Uh, I don't know how true that is. I, well, no, it is true because I was told it was new. So plus I went into the studio and took a look at it. It's, it's set up with, it's set up a lot different. So, yeah, I'm just yapping. I feel like I've been yapping since the start of the video. I do apologize. Why am I going? No, we need to go right. I always find myself going that way. I think the last few videos I did on NBC, I've been taking the same exact route. It's quite crazy. Oh, Lord. Nothing new building wise, I don't believe. That's kind of the same, isn't it? That air brake. Yeah, that's the same. So like not all the sounds are new, um, such as the parking brake, that's still the same. Uh, like I said, I kind of just let Dino do everything because um, it wasn't my intent. Like I said, I wasn't even aware we were going to use these buses. I'm, it's kind of a, a weird thing to say, but it's true. I didn't, I wasn't aware because I thought we were going to get different buses. You know what I mean? But when I had hired him, it was like, it was like already too late to tell him to stop. You know what I mean? But we're using them. So I guess everything's good. Oh 
my goodness. That suspension is crazy. We're going to stop here. I see no reason to kind of stop all the way up there when there's no one else in this server. Uh, are they getting off or are they getting on? No, they're getting, they're getting off. Good. Getting off. Actually, this minimap isn't, no, this minimap isn't new, but I can tell because it doesn't have the new lot in it, but it has my townhomes. So I can tell this was added a while back. So my apologies. We're going to drive back to the, you know what? We're going to drive to the, uh, the good old driver's lounge. If it's still in the game, I actually don't know if it is. I don't know. It's not. I just remember the driver's lounge got removed. That's a shame. Cause they got put where that. Town Hall is now, or, sorry, the Town Hall got put where the, uh, driver's lounge used to be. Um, so actually the most important thing I wanted to say is, um, for those of you who have a premium bus, and I, I, I made this up because, uh, it was the whole reason why... I said these buses weren't going to have any like game changing features, you know, um, they can all now transfer buses for free. Uh, and that was a, that was a huge thing that I, I wanted to make clear. I don't want it to be like, Oh, you have to pay another thousand Robux for a barely upgraded bus. No, 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 no. Um, for those of you who own a premium bus, you should definitely get this for free. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm really not involved in anything. I that better be the case still. If it's not, then uh, somebody let me know for sure. But um, yeah, for those of you who don't have a premium bus, I think the price is still one thousand. I don't actually know. Uh, I have no idea actually. So yeah, and you won't have to pay like that five hundred robux fee for you know upgrading your bus essentially. But from a distance, the bus does look totally different. I don't know if that's just me not playing the game for a while or what. The Chrome Rims is definitely a great addition. I totally forgot to get a screenshot. I totally forgot to get a screenshot. That'll work. Oh, Lord. What am I doing? Oh, my gosh. I'm going to go. Oh, okay, good. I thought we missed our light. I was about to say. Come on. Yep. Hmm. Anyways, this video is cutting it close. I was supposed to record this yesterday, but it's actually, I'm recording it the day of that it's coming out. Actually, if, like two hours before it's supposed to come out. I'm getting behind. Like I said, things in real life is getting crazy. It's getting crazy and it's getting difficult. Now, this whole parking lot thing is now we're going to have to drive all the way back here to get to our spot. I don't even know where. Am I? No. Okay. I don't know why I'm 2099. That's not my number. My number is 1147. So I don't know what's going on there, but Yeah. Anyways, let me know how you guys like this update. Is it what you were expecting? Um, I know a lot of you might actually be disappointed. You know, I tried to make it uh, as um, transparent as possible. Like, you know, with all the features and stuff. I said it wasn't going to be game changing and whatnot uh, right when we released the announcement. But um, let me know what you guys think. Um, 
Yeah. I, I don't think anybody has access to the other 2024s. I don't, well, I don't know. Maybe they do. I have no idea. I haven't seen the other ones just yet. Uh, but, um, yeah, if you guys do wish to play this game yourself, it will be linked in the description down below. If you guys like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.